so let's get started. We have, um, we have affection. Now with affection, it's about loving yourself. Just knowing that you are the ultimate act of creation, fashioned by the hands of a divine artist. And then we have the more energy and attention you bring to your faith, the more fearless and free you are. The more fearless and free you'll be. So with these two cards are basically saying is that when you love yourself, um, it's safe to do that and you should do that because like I said before, you're the ultimate act of a creation and that you're created by the by a divine artist so once you do that you become fearless and not only fearless but you become fierce especially with the more energy and in and in in intention you bring to your faith like I said not only fearless you become fearless, free, and fierce. So go ahead and embrace that. Try it if you haven't already. Now let's move on to the recent past. We have the Page of Pentacles, and it's paired with the Nine of Swords. Now with the Page of Pentacles, this card, it can be about boredom. Now, you could be feeling tempted, or you will be talking about the recent past, so you could have been feeling tempted to say or do things, to shake things up and people up, just for a little bit of excitement. So you should have rethought, you should have rethink that impulse, and you would have needed to find a better use of your energy at that time, because we all know excitement, it can be created. Now, with this page of Pentacles, it's really an excellent energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It can bring you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. And if you weren't in a relationship at that time, the relationship probably had lost some of its luster. Now, that doesn't mean that it was the end of the relationship, but it does mean that you would have needed to take action and discussion. That would have been necessary. To create change, you must be honest about how you're feeling. And if you were single at that time and you had a hard time meeting someone new or finding the person for you, you would have needed to look carefully at what you were holding in your heart. You, you were probably still attached to an ex and that probably needed to be let go before you could expect to move forward. And that's with the Page of Pentacles and it's paired with the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords, you'll need to guard it. You would have needed to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you are feeling anxious, you needed to take a look at whether or not any of that was under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life, they were contributing to this anxiety. And if that was the case, you probably should have took a look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship could have been changed to make it more workable. Because there's something about the time period that you were in that caused people, that caused you to feel like your life or other people's life um, should have been in some ways 
more or either bigger than it was. So you would have needed to try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things at that time. And just know that that was where the beauty really was. And with this Nine of Swords, in your recent past, and if you were asking questions about love, something could have been troubling you with regards to your relationship. Don't, well, don't ignore your gut feelings. You should not have. If you felt that something in your relationship was unhealthy, you were probably correct. You suspect that something probably was going on. Or if you suspected that something was going on behind your back, your best bet was to ask your partner about it. And also, if you had recently met someone new, you would have been smart not to get too carried away and believing all that all that you see, all that is there is what it seems to be. So don't, you would have been smart not to get too carried away in believing all is what it seems. That's what I'm trying to say. So you knew that trust would have, trust would have um, taken more time. Trust takes time to develop. And don't be in too much of a hurry at that time. Yeah, because you see all those swords on the on the ground and all those candles. Um, yeah, something was troubling you. And um, you just needed to take things slow at that time in the recent past. And with these two cards paired together, the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords in your past, you were probably a little bored, and you did. You may have did some crazy things just for a little bit of fun and excitement, and um, it probably caused some feelings of anxiety. Okay, or either you just had some type of anxiety, you had some issues, um, probably with some other people. They were probably contributing to it, and. Um, you probably thought that your life should have been a little bit different. Like I said, something about that time period that caused people to feel like their lives should have been in some way more or bigger than it was. And so you were probably bored with whatever situation you were in or just maybe bored with life at that time. So you just probably did some crazy things. And that's in a recent past. Okay, so let's move over to the present. All right, so in the present time, we have the Knight of Cups, and then we have the Ace of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups, like most of the cups in the tarot, is an optimistic card. The Knights, they come with messages. Usually, these are the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. Um, this card, it will tell you that things are going well. You're likely to be feeling charged up and ready for action. This card also means that good news, usually with matters, in the matters of the heart, is likely to be headed your way soon. And it's paired with the Ace of Cups. Now, this is a very, very powerful, positive card in the tarot, especially relating um, to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the aces, though, it's about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in, in other areas of the life, too, of your life, too. Things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill more than usually at this time. You should be feeling good about life in general. This is going to be a great time to make friends. Now, with this Knight of Cups and Ace of Cups paired together, looks like somebody's coming in. 
okay it, it really does he's he's charging in too he's got his cup he wants to offer love he's got some good news it's either good news or some type of good news message but i'm thinking it's a cup of love because the knight of cups is it usually deals with the matters of the heart you know and the heart what do you see when you talk about love it's always a heart a heart shape whenever you're reading something so someone's coming in for you pisces they want to offer you their cup of love and it's paired with the ace of cups which is which is about love happiness and affection and new big be new beginnings so i'm thinking this is a new person someone new is headed in and um they want to be a they want to be a new beginning for you. They want to offer you love, happiness, and affection. So that's not bad, especially for February. That's a month of love. So you go ahead on, Pisces. All right, now let's move on to the challenge. We have the Page of Cups, and then we have the Four of Swords. Now the Page of Cups. It's about a need to play, dream, have a little fun. Sometimes it could mean that you've been taking yourself too seriously. So you have to know the difference between taking yourself serious and taking your um, work serious. Okay, you have to know the difference between those two. Uh, one is imperative and the other is a disaster. And I'm going to let you figure out which is which. Okay, so that is what the Page of Cups is about. And the Four of Swords is a card that signifies a need for a break or a need from normal life. Yeah, it could be either or or both, actually. Because you see how this man is just, he's out for the count. He's got these four swords around him. And it doesn't look like he's getting up anytime soon. So this could also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. It could mean that too, yeah? Um, we're on the challenge. I hope I said that. We moved over to the challenge. Okay, and um, this withdrawal, just keep in mind, it's not going to be permanent. It could also occasionally mean illness or time in the hospital or even more rarely time in jail. Something like that. Just something when you go in and you, you have to be away for a little while, then you come right back. What, that's what I'm trying to say. The withdrawal, if you get ghosted or something like that, it's just it's temporary, short term. They're coming back. Okay. It's going to be a clear signifier to give people their space at this time you are also in need of some space for yourself keep in mind others they may try to push too hard for bits of your time and attention at this time don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no on the other hand when others say no to you take them at their word now if you push in the circumstance it's going to be asking for trouble. Now, with these two cards paired together for your challenge, the Page of Cups, uh, remember to just have some fun. Uh, let your hair down. If you're, if you're a woman, let your hair down. If you're a man, um, take off the suit and tie and you know, and, and just don't be so stiff-necked and just loosen up, okay? It's time to play, dream, and have some fun. Um, it seems like you could be forgetting about that at this time, okay? You're probably a little bit too serious. So, it's paired with the Four of Swords, and you're probably too serious right now because... You need a break from normal life or a break from maybe a certain situation. 
Now keep in mind, if you're not the one who's who, who's needing this break, it's um, someone that you're dealing with. And like I said, they may withdraw, you may withdraw, could go either way. But like I said, they're coming right back. So it's just time for a break, okay? Time for a space. And like I said, if someone wants to take it, take time and, and, and space, uh, make sure you give that to them. Okay, because um, for some reason, things are a little bit too serious right now. So, once you give some space, withdraw, or let your person do this, when you guys come back together, you should remember, to, you know, it was all good and it's time to play, dream, and have fun. And that's going to be the challenge. So we move on to the outcome. We have the Page of Wands and Justice. Now the Page of Wands, it's about people being warm, ambitious, and high achievers. If this is not an actual person, the Page of Wands it indicates the energy of easy distraction. You can be easily distracted at this time. So you have to try to stay focused. This card is about things that you've started some time ago. They're starting to come to life. They're starting to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. The page, it brings us positive energy, but we have to supply the follow-through. We have to follow up with it. Now, the Page of Wands is paired with the Justice card. It deals with the ideal of karma, karma and law of cause and effect. It's important to remember that not everything that you're dealing with at this time is a direct result of your own actions or karma. It is not. Sometimes you'll be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone that you care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily at this time. If you are involved in a court case with this justice card, it's likely to be resolved in your favor, at least a very large degree. So with these two cards paired together, Page of Wands and the Justice, um, it's about trying to stay focused. Okay, because you can easily get distracted at this time. So once you stay focused, whatever you're trying to do or whatever you started um, in the past, it's going to start to come to fruition. Okay, it's going to bring you new ideas, new approaches, and new adventures. But you have to remember, you can get easily distracted at this time. So... Just stay focused, and you may get distracted because now is a time of karma for you. So a lot of times when karma, it's your time for, for karma. Some people know it as boomerang, okay? Whatever you put out years ago or maybe even yesterday, it's coming back to you. Some people say three times as much, or some people say... Ten times as much, but it's coming back to you, whether it was good or bad. So you could be distracted by all of this. You could be, or you could be distracted by something else. But I'm thinking you're going to be distracted by this karma. And I don't know what it is, and you probably don't know what it is until it hits you. It could be something good. It just depends on what you put out, what, you, what have you been putting out to the universe. Okay, so that's the outcome. So, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended version of this reading. And I'll go over a lot more. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I hope that you're enjoying 2020 
And I just want to say that I'm hoping that you have a great February.